welcome to you your sec sapsd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sapsd today we are discussing about invoicing dates and invoice list date okay what is the purpose of this how we can config okay the definition we will see now invoicing dates what is the purpose of invoicing dates if customer wants the invoice on particular day on every month then we will use invoicing dates okay so customer is not ready to pay money on each and every invoice each and every invoice and each and every day okay he is ready to pay enter all the invoice amount in one day okay in that in that time we are going to use this invoicing dates okay invoicing dates so for example october month you can take october month so customer he will pay okay you will pay money to the company on 31st october okay so uh, up to 31st october how many invoices created okay how many invoices created for all the invoices amount you will ready to pay on 31st on october okay so single day ready to pay amount in that case we are going to use the invoicing dates okay invoice list date what is the purpose of the invoice list date means if customer want to consolidate invoice okay consolidate of all the invoices then we will use invoice list date okay so for example so uh, total uh, the entire this month we have 10 invoices created 10 invoices created this 10 invoice we are creating okay we are accumulating and we are creating single invoice that we are sending to the customer because of uh, 10 invoice amount 10k 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 like that is there so uh, the final customer is telling so oh, okay uh, leave at the amount i want the uh, what is the last figure what is the uh, final amount i need to pay so if you uh, you can give me the single invoice i can pay is telling like that then what we are doing we are creating invoice list date so you are accumulating all the 10 invoice we are creating single invoice that we are calling as a invoice list date okay we will see the difference between both in configuration also for this process we need to do the small configuration that is we need to create a factory calendar based on the customer date and that factory calendar we need to assign in material uh, sorry customer master billing billing tab okay if it is a ecc we have to go to xd02 and uh, billing tab we have to assign in case it is esporana we have to go to bp and billing tab we need to assign this uh, factory calendar okay now we'll create on factory calendar go to t code scl this is that uh, t code to create the factory calendar scl okay select factory calendar click on display sorry uh, change click on create so here i am uh, factory calendar so end of month so end of month so customer ready to pay amount on every month sorry uh, on particular day on particular date on every month okay so valid from valid to this is uh, up to 5 years okay we don't want to click on this one okay we are not checking any dates so all days are so if you if you want all days you can add or else leave it no problem save it after saving after saving go to special rules here we need to add the date so here uh, first i'm adding 31st october today 30th right so 31st october i'm adding from and two days so on october month i need to do the billing on 31st this is october month save it next i'm creating one more date november 30th number 38 so like that each and every month we need to create the dates okay each and every month we need to create the date 23 and 23 this is november month here click on working day or else it will not activate if you click on okay then only it will activate or else it will not activate save it if you if you now if you uncheck this 
if you trying to if after assign this ca factory calendar to the customer if you trying to create it will not accept because of there is no working day on this month okay as per calendar that's the reason we need to click on working day like that uh, december january each and every month we need to create after this what we have to do go to the customer so this is s4 s4 on our system so i'm going to bp if the ecc go to xd02 take your customer go to billing tab so role is the flcu01 go to bill sales and distribution go to billing tab here we have the invoicing date here select sf invoicing date sf so and okay we'll do before uh, saving we'll create one order delivery invoice we'll see the result after that we'll assign so i am creating on order so i'm creating on order now So I'm creating one order. Price also need to enter. So after uh, creating the order, what we have to do? We have to do the delivery. So price I entered, order I created. Now I'm doing the delivery. Ignition the sales order. Okay. Here picking on PGI. Okay, if you observe here, I now I am creating invoice. Okay, now I am creating invoice. What are the billing date here? Thirtieth October, right? What are the billing date here? Thirtieth October. If you see in header level also, thirtieth October, right? Now I am saving this. Okay. now i'm activating invoicing date but uh, what the customer told you want the you want all the invoice dates on october 1st not before that okay october 1st but uh, now it system created invoice on 30 uh, 30 october but client don't want like that client want each and every invoice date has to be each, each and every invoice date has to be 31st october okay if it is november month 30th november okay the last day of the month the last day of the month the date has to be okay so instead of 30th it has to get 31 now we'll create now we'll assign the uh, uh, invoice date factory calendar save it okay save it now we'll create the order again we will create the order again So these are the mandated fields need to fill. So client don't want to get the invoice on. Ah, uh, uh, is invoice on random dates. You want on every month last day. Okay. Our particular day, whatever date you want. Okay, now I'm creating invoice. Store location. PGA. You can observe now. Now I'm creating invoice. You can observe now. I'm creating invoice. See what the date here? Thirty first October. okay but created on in 30th only but it, it, this is not we are considering we are considering billing date so if you post if you save here it is going to post on if you go it is going to post on 31st october even if, if even it is created on 30th it is posted on okay it is posted on 31st october okay even if you today is october 1st you creating uh, order on october 1st but it will post on 31st october okay if you want to see one more sample now what we'll do we, i'm going to change mode of the calendar change mode of the calendar uh, what is sf we created right so here what i'm doing special rule i'm changing this uh 10th 
టెన్త్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ సో అవర్ అవర్ ఇన్వాయిస్ డేట్ ఈజ్ ఓకే అవర్ పోస్టింగ్ డేట్ ఈజ్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ వాట్ ద వాట్ వాట్ ద నెక్స్ట్ డేట్ ఓకే ఆఫ్ వాట్ ద నెక్స్ట్ డేట్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ రైట్ ఓకే టెన్త్ నవంబర్ నవ్ ఐఎమ్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఆర్డర్ అగైన్ నవ్ ఐఎమ్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఆర్డర్ అగైన్ విల్ సీ నవ్ ఇన్వాయిసింగ్ పోస్టింగ్ డేట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి టెన్త్ నవంబర్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పేమెంట్ డేట్ ఈజ్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పేమెంట్ డేట్ ఈజ్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ సో బిఫోర్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ డే యూ కెన్ పోస్ట్ ఓకే ద వాట్ ఎవర్ డే యూ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ఆర్డర్ బట్ సిస్టమ్ విల్ పోస్ట్ ఆన్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ ఇట్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది డేట్ ఇట్ విల్ పోస్ట్ ఆన్ నెక్స్ట్ అప్కమింగ్ పోస్ట్ డేట్స్ నవ్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఫ్యాక్టరీకి వెళ్ళిన అప్కమింగ్ పోస్ట్ డేట్ ఈజ్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ ఓకే నవ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు పోస్ట్ ఆన్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ విల్ సీ దట్ సేవ్ ఇట్ విల్ క్రియేట్ ది డెలివరీ నవ్ పికింగ్ అండ్ పీజీఐ now we'll create invoice now what the date here 10th november next posting date okay even it is creating 31st october but it's posting on 10th november okay 10th november so this is the this is the concept of invoicing dates okay posting date is 10th november this is the concept of invoicing date then what is the purpose of invoicing list date okay invoicing list date so same calendar i'm going to use the same calendar i'm going to use okay the same calendar i'm going to use this also i'm making as a 31st 31st october okay the same calendar i'm going to use the same calendar i'm assigning in billing in billing tab invoicing list date invoice list date here save same i must say same i'm taking same calendar i'm assigning here i'm saving now okay now we'll create three orders three the orders three delivery three invoice will accumulate single invoice okay now i'm creating order invoice one invoice 1 now i'm doing delivery now i'm doing pgi now i'm creating invoice okay see now our factory calendar level we changed 31st october next payment date right next payment date 31st october so it is taking 31st october i am saving remember the invoice number 1012 okay 1012 i am creating one more order invoice 2 invoice 2 next class i'm going to cover resume preparation and many many people asking my resume is not short listing what the reason okay the reason is we the re, the resume it has to tell okay you are ready to work on any kind of the project and any kind of the situation okay in net of situation so like that resume has to tell to interviewer okay how we, how to prepare that how we can consider that we'll see in the next class and a bpp document also we will discuss in next class now i am doing delivery now i am creating invoice so our previous invoice is 10 12 right now it is 10 13 we will create one more invoice okay 
will create one more invoice invoice 3 so what we will do after this we will accumulate we will accumulate the three invoice values into one in one invoice value okay we will create single invoice the value will accumulate and we will post in single invoice okay now we are doing delivery pga now i am creating invoice okay this is the number 1040 okay now go to the t code the t code uh, to create the invoice list is vf21 okay the t code to create the invoice list is t code is vf21 okay you can note down somewhere vf21 go to vf21 sell the invoice list type lr okay so before that okay i will explain no problem so uh, you can take the three two prerequisites is there i will tell that so what are the 12 13 and 14 right our invoice numbers 12 13 and 14 13 and 12 these are the three invoice numbers right you enter the three invoice numbers select the billing type lr and execute okay see, see total three invoice value is seventy thousand. total three invoice value is seventy. if you click on if you see that click on details you can see 30,000 phone invoice second invoice 20,000 total 50 and third invoice that 20 20 20 30 20 20 30 total 70,000 okay now I am saving okay in single invoice generated go to VF 23 this is the display okay it is not relevant for accounting because of already the invoice value posted to accounting again it will post the, the entry will duplicate okay so invoice list will, it is not relevant for accounting just it will, it will accumulate the value that's it okay the we are sending this invoice value this invoice number to invoice number to customer with the total value okay the total value if you see if you go to vf03 in your invoice document flow you can see you can able to see the invoice list 05 you can change the number also 13 you will get the same invoice list okay 15 same you will get if you take 14 also same you will get same 15 okay so uh, if before uh, the prerequisites is in invoice level okay in invoice level invoice level the invoice list type has to be lr okay the invoice list type has to be lr and uh, the copy control needs to maintain between smin invoice to lr okay in vtff in vtff need to maintain copy control between sm invoice to lr sorry lr to invoice reverse lr to invoice smin so need to maintain copy control or else it will not work need to, uh, copy control need to maintain and uh, in vofa in vofa uh, LR has to be maintained. Okay, these two things we need to do here. Okay, this is the invoice dates and invoice list dates. Next topic I am going to cover resume preparation and BPP document preparation. Okay, once again, thank you all for watching the videos. Please subscribe the channel for more videos and to get the more larger SAP SD. Thank you all.